Hello everybody and welcome to another video. We're going to be going over ECFX, which is for me, for now, the easiest way to have real-time audio modifications. Okay, I mainly use it for noise suppression or noise cancellation, however you want to actually refer to it. But it has other um, uses, especially for music, sound, sound editing in real time for bass and stuff like that and also for voice so for voice it has the pitch which is a typical thing that you see in other ones like lyrebird lyrebird it, it, it's not actually changing your voice from one person to another it's just modifying the pitch and that's basically all it does and there's others that sell themselves as you, you know changing your voice to somebody else but it's actually just changing the pitch so it's not really voice changers um so here at the bottom you can see that I'm, I'm using Flatpak uh to install ecfx uh it has the latest version uh, at least on ubuntu but Flatpak has the latest version there they're very up to date by the way because the latest one came uh two weeks ago and you can see that um all the changes for it and all that boom we got the, the latest one there after you install it and just in case to use Flatpak on on Ubuntu well you got everything here but on Ubuntu just install the Flatpak here okay and then follow this down there and you're done this is just an extra step if you wanted to but it's just this one install Flatpak with the app and then just add the a repository for the flat pack and you're done just refresh that baby um, you can just do something like this if you can see okay oh I did also test sound ducks uh, nope so let's remove that one quickly here it wasn't it's not easy let's put it like that and after you update you can just Type install flatback install ECFX or you can install it um, from here from the actual uh, store ECFX you get that there boop you click install the thing just installs if it downloads a file just double click on that file and you're done or just install it from the console is the same thing okay once you install it you have it like you have it here on the top right. It's going to open like this. You're going to be like, okay, what the hell am I supposed to be doing here? Well, if you look at the top, you have output editing, input editing, just the pipe wire that I'm using here. Okay. Um, if you want sound from the desktop, not your mic, to be modified, here's where you will go to the output, and you just click here and you start adding effects. By default, it's going to be like this. So here, it, it actually shows you all the apps that are using sound. So um, let me put some, I don't know. Let me, let's look for um, music uh, Celtic or something. Sure, that one. OK, you can see that it shows here. It detected that something it's output outputting uh, sound. And once you enable them here, boop. Okay, you you can modify with some effects that actual sound that's coming out of this. Okay. In my particular case, I'm going to be doing input. It's the same thing. You're going to be doing the same thing. The same thing that I'm about to show you on input is the same thing that you'll be able to do on the um, on the output. So here's the recorder. It's just grabbing OBS. As you can see, it's showing there. Uh, normally what I do, so I don't have to select them. Every time I open uh, ECFX, I, is I click on the little menu here, the, the hamburger, sandwich, pizza, whatever hungry you're for there, and you click preferences. And I, what I do is I enable, enable, in my particular case, I enable process all input streams. So I don't have to click them, enable them. So just automatically, it'll apply all effects to anything that's an input. And because I only have one mic, then it'll apply it to that mic automatically. So here we are with all the effects. By default, this shows empty, and you start adding all the effects. 
the effects trickle down, meaning, for example, here's your input device. If you add the deep noise remover, it'll remove that noise, like that background noise that right now, for example, you're not hearing the low more. There's like a low more sound that I can hear outside of the house because they're, 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 somebody's doing something outside. And without this, you, you, you're going to end up hearing the sound, whatever. And then have the pitch, which is the, the one that this ECFX is famous for. So the pitch is just literally changes your pitch. Uh, the, I love ECFX because it's very easy to apply the effects. Literally, that's what the name is for. So if you compare this to Carla, if you compare this to, uh, well, there, there's others, okay? Just by doing this. You can see that my voice changed. I can't hear the change of my voice, but I'm pretty sure you can hear it. If you want to hear the change of your own voice, there's this thing here at the bottom, which actually echoes out the sound that I will be hearing for myself. So I can hear myself deeper. Yeah. Wham. Wham. It really kicks the llama's ass. Yeah. So we go back by having this enable here. I can actually test the quality, the pitch that I want to have, et cetera, et cetera. It's like an echo. And then we disable it, and now I don't hear myself. But this is just for you to test with yourself how you hear it on a different app before you start recording. This is for Discord. This is for when you're gaming, whatever you want to do. So negative ones go deeper and higher ones go chipmunk like. So now you should be able to hear me like a chipmunk. Yep, quick seek. And TLI and sequence length seek. Let me see. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> get it. Okay, so hope you like that, that part and you can see the how easy, whoops. There we go. So hope you like that part and, and see how easy it is to, to set up the whole thing here. Again, once you open Easy Effects, it shows here. You click on Input, you start adding all the effects. If you already added them there, that they're, you'll be able to see them there. And mainly, remember too, if this applies to you, enable this Process All Input Streams. That way, after you set up the pitch, noise remover, and all that, you can just open Easy Effects and just go to your favorite game, and you'll have that uh, voice or pitch. In regards to that do know that there's a bunch of effects and by the way there's new ones here uh, compared to the last time that I tested the last video that I did for this um, a lot of them are for output sounds okay to tune them in um, but th there's fun ones like the pitch there um, and there's others that you have to play around with this but do remember the order in which they actually show here so the order actually affects the final outcome of of the easy effects effects for your either input or output. So that's it. So enjoy this. Remember that you can install it from Flatpak, which is super easy. Boom boom, you install it, open that easy effects, start playing around with it, and in 30 seconds you should be done with the settings uh, for it once you get used to them. Okay. Hope you enjoyed the video. Big hugs and think positive as always. Or. Big hugs and think positive as always.